Hello, welcome back to A Boring Revolution, your number one news source for everything in regards to The Boring Company. Thank you for joining me this evening. I have had many, many requests from various people to review this particular project, this particular company, the Cargo Seuss Terrain, which is a quite a big project in Switzerland for moving freight underground. It has a lot of similarities to the Boring Company, slightly different way of doing it. It's kind of the freight version of the Boring Company. I very much like this idea. I have been following them now for a good six months. Uh, project seems to be progressing reasonably nicely. Uh, in the background in terms of uh, getting regulatory approval and getting uh, designs uh, kind of perfected as it were and hopefully we should see this project start in the next sort of 18 months or so um, I just thought we should explore this particular project have a look at the uh, the promotion video and discuss as to why I think this is a really good idea and potentially this is a, a, another business case for the Boring Company if they could develop a specific vehicle like the ones we see in this uh, image below. Okay, so let's have a look at that video and then we'll have a little discussion about why I like this. Cargo Suterra, ein zukunftsweisendes Logistiksystem zur Entlastung der Verkehrswege und der Umwelt. Unabhängig davon, wie sehr der Ausbau unseres Straßennetzes der wachsenden Wirtschaft nachkommt, es gibt immer Streckenabschnitte und Zeiten, bei denen die Kapazität überschritten wird. Ziel ist As you can see, there are very, very similar uh, reasons why this uh, project has come about. And that's because uh, lorries, heavy goods vehicles, uh, vans are taking up a large part of the road network in Switzerland, which is already very congested due to the, the the way the country's kind of road network is structured it's a very very um mountainous area lots of uh, passes and, and small tunnels and and, and workarounds and by roads and it, it's it's a difficult place to, to to work as a trucker and ultimately there's a lot of congestion on the roads and as you can see by taking hgvs off the road which cause a lot of damage to the road uh, when they are constantly uh, running over the, the road surface it is well worth the effort dem Gütertransport eine Alternative zu bieten. Ein vollautomatisches, unterirdisches Transportsystem soll künftig dabei helfen, Waren zuverlässig ans Ziel zu bringen. Geplant ist, bis im Jahre 2030 den ersten Streckenabschnitt in Betrieb zu nehmen. Ein gesamtschweizerischer Ausbau ist vorgesehen. Der erste Abschnitt... You can see the main part of the project here is in the central kind of belt between Harkingen and Zurich. Um, it, it, it accounts for around 18% of the, the total length of the project, maybe slightly less than that. Um, but it accounts for the majority of congestion in Switzerland. So it, it makes a lot of sense to build a tunnel there. It, it's looking at around 3 billion Swiss francs, which I'll discuss in a moment, is around 3.2 uh, billion US dollars. It führt von Herkingen Niederbib an den Stadtrand von Zürich und verfügt über mehrere Stationen an strategisch sinnvollen Knotenpunkten. Bei diesen sogenannten Hubs können Paletten und Behälter abgeholt oder dem unterirdischen Transportsystem übergeben werden. 24 Stunden am Tag, sieben Tage die Woche. Cargo Souterrain verwendet zu 100% erneuerbare Energien und auf den Hubs leisten Solarzellen dazu ihren Beitrag. Der Transport in die 6 Meter breiten Tunnels erfolgt bereits. So as you can see, these hubs are kind of based above an elevator or an elevator shaft that connects the underground tunnels. These elevator shafts uh, are going to be quite deep, potentially up to 80 foot deep, maybe more. Uh, and you're transporting goods both up out of the tunnel and then redistributing it. And then you're also having this as a kind of uh, central depot where you can uh, bring locally manufactured products, locally manufactured uh, food items, and then distribute them via the network. It makes a ton of sense. This particular element of the project will be a lot more expensive than the tunnels themselves, as these shafts will be, have to be quite wide, and they'll also be, have to be very deep. And then you'll have all the uh, infrastructure above ground as well to distribute uh, uh, various items. So that is going to be the majority of the, the, the cost that you, you see. Automatisch. Unbemannte Fahrzeuge bewegen sich mit einer konstanten Geschwindigkeit von 30 Stundenkilometern. Sie können frei auf den Spuren navigieren, zu Zügen gekoppelt sowie aus dem Verkehrsstrom ein- und ausgegliedert werden, natürlich ohne andere Transporteinheiten dabei zu verzögern. Im unteren Bereich des Tunnels gibt es Raum für Kabel und Leitungen. 
as you can see they're utilizing all space within the tunnels they're using it as a utility tunnel as well they've got at least four foot underneath the uh, road deck there for, for putting various services whether it be water gas uh, broadband uh, various other things uh, uh, and, and they're, they're making money by selling that space to utility providers während im oberen bereich eine hängebahn geplant ist welche mit well, zweifacher geschwindigkeit ingenious. kleinere einheiten transportieren soll für den Transport in die Städte bedarf es einer intelligenten City-Logistik. Bei der heutigen dezentralen Organisation werden sämtliche Lieferungen von den einzelnen Parteien zu ihrem Bestimmungsort transportiert. Und für die Abholung von Waren und Recyclinggütern sind oft weitere Fahrten nötig. Cargo Souterrain gewährleistet eine effiziente und koordinierte Verteilung der Waren in den Städten. Auf ihrem Weg können Waren gepuffert und zielortspezifisch gebündelt werden. Diese so as you can see, they're pro providing an avenue for moving items between uh, large towns and cities and between manufacturing hubs. And that's going to take a majority of the heavy goods vehicles off the local motorway network, which is a, a damn fine idea uh, if executed correctly. In Kombination mit einer konstanten Fördergeschwindigkeit machen Ankunftszeiten und Gliederung zu einer sicheren Ausgangslage für eine reibungslose Feindverteilung. Umweltfreundliche Fahrzeuge und in Zukunft auch unbemannte Transportmittel folgen einem optimierten. And there you go. So the last, last, last kind of mile, as it were, or the last kind of 10 miles, uh, can be done via electric vehicles. Those electric vehicles don't necessarily need to be that big because you can uh, break up the, uh, the, the, the packages, as it were, into various uh, sections and then send them off via smaller vehicles, uh, vans rather than HGVs. Uh, and it all makes sense from an economics perspective. Overall, I do like the company. I think it's a, a, a really kind of a great solution to, to moving freight. Obviously, Switzerland has a really good railway network, and they do utilize that a lot for, 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 for kind of uh, freights and containers and things like that. But uh, again, that, that's totally congested, um, and, and they can maybe squeeze another 10% out of it. But uh, at the rate uh, things are kind of increasing, um, that, that, that kind of uh, opportunity is going to be gone in the next sort of five years. So, what do I, what do I actually think about this in terms of um, the actual systems? I like the pods. I like the fact that they're uh, electrically powered. I like this central lane where they can use it to kind of split off from the main kind of uh, uh, routes and then use the, uh, the the elevators to get to the surface. Um, Cargo Suits Terrain is a complete logistic system for the flexible transport of small component goods. Uh, tunnels connect production and logistics sites with urban centers. Overground, CST distributes the transport goods in environmentally friendly vehicles, contributing to the reduction of traffic and uh, noise emissions. Uh, again, great. It's 70 kilometers long, which is around 43 miles. The total cost 3 billion Swiss francs, which converts into 3.25 billion dollars. Uh, If you divide that by 43 miles, that's around 75 million dollars us dollars per mile which is quite a lot but you get three lanes in that tunnel plus you can put utilities in that tunnel and plus you've got your kind of overhead uh, small packages distribution system so you you know you utilizing that tunnel fairly well um and if you've got hundreds and hundreds of these pods running through it then that potentially could be a good avenue for making money Uh, traffic problems are accentuated in cities. Goods transports make up a large part of the volume of traffic in metropolitan areas. Absolutely. So you know it's telling us things. So that here is our kind of hub, uh, how it would would look. So you, you've got uh, freight coming in via various sources, HGVs, uh, uh, you know, very long kind of articulated vehicles and trains. It's then redistributed into the pods, and then it's sent hundreds of miles to where it needs to go, and then it's redistributed in the city centre or the town centre. So. Uh, here's a look at the technology. Cargo Suits Terrain follows a similar principle to that of automatic conveyor systems. Automated driverless transport vehicles will, which are able to pick up and deposit loads automatically from the designated ramps and lifts travel around the clock in tunnels. So it's 24-7 system. Very, very efficient per mile in comparison to HGVs. You don't need an expensive driver. You don't need you know, to take breaks every sort of four, four and a half hours for, for, for the driver's kind of... Uh, Uh, you know, food breaks, toilet breaks, that kind of thing. So, it, this makes a ton, a ton of sense in my mind. It seems to be supported by the local government. The cost is quite high. I, I, I'm not going to lie about that. Um, 
However, I think there is a reasonably quick payback on this particular uh, project. Everyone seems to be on board with it. Kairos is trained an important element of sustainable and environmentally friendly goods transport in Switzerland. A reduction in heavy goods traffic on the national roads of up to 40% and efficient micro distribution, which is an interesting term, within urban areas will result in considerable savings in CO2 emissions and a reduction in noise levels. The system will be 100% operated using power from renewable energy sources. Uh, yeah, so I mean, it is difficult to kind of uh, fault this. This is kind of the outline for uh, where traffic is on the on the network at the moment. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, Kairos is an innovative and market oriented logistics and planning development is being carried out in close collaboration with future users. In other words, with manufacturers, wholesale retailers. So they are working with various uh, partners on this particular project, which is good. So the people who are actually going to use the system trying to establish how they can you know reduce their logistics costs and how they can kind of increase the kind of uh, uh, profitability of their business, potentially increase the turnover of their business as well, which results in more uh, freight needing to be transported. It's fully digitalized. This is a quite an interesting diagram, uh, just kind of shows you how it, how it will operate. Um, I think it's a good idea. It's difficult. It's difficult to really fault it. If you are interested in this particular project, I recommend that you go onto this website and, and, and follow them uh, via the email as well at the bottom. There's a good facts page, kind of lists various things, uh, kind of questions that people would answer. Um, uh, what was a good question? I've seen a good question. Uh, yeah, so why are the funds really not going to, uh, even if funds really were to put to rail infrastructure, there are let's see the expansion options for the railway network. Yeah, so that's kind of the issue is that you could put another 20 billion Swiss francs into the railway network. Yeah, maybe you could get another 10% out of it, but you are you at capacity and especially in a country that is very mountainous that is quite an issue so i hope you like that deep dive into this particular uh, project i think it's an interesting project uh, hopefully keep an eye on it maybe uh, do another video on this in in sort of nine to twelve months time um i'm hoping that it, it does actually start getting built fairly soon i think that the price is a little bit high but I think you're getting a lot for that price as long as they can keep that price fairly kind of stagnant and it's not kind of excessive cost overruns as you know a lot of tunneling projects do have issues in terms of keeping the budget on target especially cross rail in the uk which just went absolutely ballistic um, and has scared off a lot of people from building things under london for at least a decade now but this project not only will it be profitable just with that 70 kilometer section, but if they could expand it by 100 kilometers, 200 kilometers, 300 kilometers, then it just adds to its uh, usability. Because ultimately you wanna be able to transport goods from you know the, the eastern half of the country to the western half of the country and do that in, in, in good time. I think the speed is a little bit slow, 30 kilometers per hour. I, I don't know why that, that is. I, I'm guessing that's around 20 miles per hour, or slightly below 20 miles per hour. That's uh, that's, that's not really great, is it, really? Um, but I'm guessing they're going for kind of volume of, of pods in the system rather than speed overall, which, which makes sense from an efficiency perspective and also a cost uh, perspective because they want to be able to say, hey, this system is you know 40% cheaper than using HGV. Also, we're reliable 100% of the year. If there's a snowstorm, don't worry, we are still know operational as long as the goods can get to one of our hubs then you know it can be redistributed throughout the country it, it hopefully this this gets starts being built in the next 18 months and then we can maybe have another deep dive onto the project okay i hope you really enjoyed that uh, that analysis and i hope you learned something today and, and do consider uh, following this company on twitter and uh, getting the uh, email updates because i certainly am and i very much uh, enjoy hearing about projects uh, progress on this particular project okay guys please like and subscribe to the video hope i'll see you on the next one and remember don't be boring take care now have a great day thank you goodbye It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. I'm all out of gum.